It's no secret, NBA players usually have attractive partners. The fame, the money, and the fact that most of them are young, fit guys with some of the best genes on earth helps to explain why this might be. Here's some of the hottest girlfriends of NBA players. Luka Doncic and Anna Maria Goltes. Luka Doncic is one of the best players in the NBA. At just 21 years old, he's also one of the youngest and most popular. Given this, it's a charming surprise for many people to find out he's still dating his high school sweetheart, 23-year-old Anna Maria Goltes. They both grew up in Sylvania and have known each other since they were teens. While Luka was breaking records playing in the EuroLeague, Anna Maria was studying economics and modeling on Instagram. After starting her modeling career in 2013, she eventually grew a large enough following to get signed by a modeling agency and move to the US. Today, she and Luca live together in Dallas. However, between the traveling Luca does play in basketball and the international trips Anna Maria takes for her modeling work, they often don't see each other. In addition to modeling, Anna Maria is also a dancer. She regularly posts about dance-related workouts on her Instagram page. Draymond Green and Hazel Renee Hazel Renee is an actress and recording artist from Kansas. She got her first big break on the TV show The Wedding Tour in 2013. In 2017, Renee landed a recurring role on season 3 of the hit show Empire. Green and Renee first met after Renee broke up with her previous boyfriend, NBA player Jacob Pullen. Both have children from previous relationships. Renee has a daughter named Oliver J, while Green has a son named Draymond Jr. and a daughter named Kyla. In February of 2019, Green proposed to Hazel with a $300,000 engagement ring. The ring was reportedly designed by the same Beverly Hills jeweler who made the Warriors 2018 championship rings. In October 2020, the couple announced that they had their first child together. While the couple hasn't revealed the name of the newborn, Draymond did praise his fiance for enduring 27 hours of labor without pain meds. In fact, he described her as the GOAT of pregnancy. The couple has been engaged for nearly two years, but they are yet to be married. This could have something to do with the COVID-19 pandemic and the fact that gatherings have been impossible. In any case, the two seem extremely happy building a family together. Shaquille and Shawnee O'Neal Before becoming the wife of one of the game's biggest stars, Shawnee Nelson led a long and successful career in several fields. She grew up in Texas and got her start as a film marketer. She eventually became an executive producer for VH1. To this day, she produces the hit show Basketball Wives, a show many of the women on this list have appeared on. Shawnee is also reportedly an entrepreneur and philanthropist. She married Shaq in 2002 during the peak of his career. The couple have had five children together. One of them is Sharif, who currently plays basketball for LSU and is expected to end up in the NBA within the next couple years. Sadly, the couple filed for divorce in 2011, but are reportedly still on good terms. LeBron James and Savannah Brinson LeBron and Savannah have been married since 2013. They grew up together in Akron, Ohio. During her senior year of high school, Savannah became pregnant with the couple's first child, LeBron James Jr., better known by his nickname, Bronny. He's now 16 years old and a high school basketball star in Los Angeles. In addition to Bronny, LeBron and Savannah have had two other children, a son named Bryce and a daughter named Zuri. In 2016, Savannah started a program called Women of Our Future, providing mentorship for young women in high school. She also briefly owned a juice shop in Florida and runs a furniture line called Home Court. Michael Jordan and Yvette Prieto Michael Jordan was married to Juanita Vinoy for the entirety of his prime in the 1990s. The couple had three children together, but in 2002, they filed for divorce. They were later upstaged by Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos, but at the time, it was the largest divorce settlement on public record, $168 million. In 2007, Michael met a woman at a bar named Yvette Prieto. Yvette is a Cuban-American model. She grew up in Miami, Florida. More noticeably, Yvette was just 28 years old when she met Michael, who was 44. The two got married in 2013. The following year, Yvette gave birth to twin daughters, Victoria and Isabel. Some people have been critical of the large age difference between the two. Jordan is 17 years older than Prieto. However, others have pointed out that it's not unusual, especially for wealthy celebrities. Jordan and Prieto have been married now for almost a decade. Even though Jordan spends much less time in the public eye than he used to, according to friends and people close to them, they are a happy and healthy family. Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union One of the most famous power couples in NBA history is that of Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. It's also a rare case where the spouse of an NBA player is even more famous than the NBA player himself. Gabrielle Union is one of the most successful actresses in Hollywood. Her career spans several decades and includes starring roles in numerous blockbusters and primetime shows. She grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area 
and was raised in a Roman Catholic household. Gabrielle got her start in acting after graduating from UCLA with a degree in sociology. She appeared in several TV shows such as Friends and Seventh Heaven. In 2000, she landed her first role in a major motion picture, Spike Lee's Love and Basketball. Her acting career continued throughout the 2000s. In 2008, she met Dwayne Wade and the two began dating. Wade was living in Miami while Union was living in Los Angeles. How they met in the first place, let alone how they managed to date each other, isn't entirely clear. But we can assume that when you're one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, it's much easier to fly back and forth across the country at a moment's notice. What definitely is clear is that the couple hit it off right away. Wade and Union got married in 2014 in Miami, and in 2018, they had their first child together. Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian Another rare example of a spouse being more famous than an NBA player is Khloe Kardashian, who belongs to the most famous family on the planet. Khloe first met Tristan Thompson in September of 2016, just months after he had won his first NBA championship with the Cavs. A video went viral of the pair making out at a nightclub in Miami. This was one of the most scrutinized relationships in NBA history. It also wasn't the first time Khloe Kardashian had dated an NBA player. Back in 2008, she briefly dated Timberwolves shooting guard Rashad McCants. In 2009, Khloe once again dated an NBA player, only this time, things got more serious. Khloe met Lamar Odom at a party hosted by Meta World Peace, aka Ron Artest. To everyone's surprise, the two got married only one month after meeting each other. For the next four years, Khloe was known as Khloe Kardashian Odom. However, in 2014, they filed for divorce. Khloe started dating yet another basketball star the following year. She met James Harden at Kanye West's birthday party. They dated for eight months before splitting up in 2016. This was just in time for Khloe to meet Tristan Thompson later on in 2016. Thompson became the fourth consecutive NBA player to date Khloe. Despite being in a relationship for more than half a decade, the two haven't gotten married. They did have a child together, however. In April of 2018, Khloe gave birth to their daughter, True. Months later, tabloids went nuts over the couple suddenly breaking up. It was revealed that Tristan had cheated on Khloe while she was pregnant. Not only that, but they had been with someone close to her family, Jordan Woods. Woods was Kylie Jenner's best friend at the time. The breakup didn't last, however. In 2020, Thompson and Khloe reportedly got back together after sheltering in the same house during COVID-19 lockdowns. Russell Westbrook and Nina Earl Since 2015, Russell Westbrook has been married to Nina Earl. Nina is also a basketball player. She and Westbrook first met at UCLA, where they both played for the Bruins. Prior to playing in college, Nina was a star athlete at Diamond Ranch High School in Pomona, California. She was one of the best women's high school basketball players in the country. Nina scored over 2,000 points in her high school career and won CIF Player of the Year twice. If that wasn't enough, she was also a standout track and field athlete. Nina earned a scholarship to play for UCLA. She was a standout there as well, earning a spot on the starting roster. Meanwhile, Russell Westbrook was carving his own success story on the men's team. Westbrook and the Bruins went on to the Final Four every year that he played. He also won Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year as a sophomore. It was only natural for their paths to cross. Westbrook and Earl began dating during college and have been together ever since. However, while Westbrook was drafted to the NBA in 2008 with the fourth overall pick, Nina continued studying and eventually earned a master's degree in clinical psychology. Today, she works as a therapist specializing in marriage and family therapy. Kyrie Irving and Kaylani Around the same time Tristan Thompson met Khloe Kardashian, his teammate Kyrie Irving was entering into his own celebrity romance. Rumors circulated that he had started dating the singer Kaylani after a post she made on Instagram. Kaylani is an R&B singer from Oakland, California. She made a successful run on America's Got Talent as a teenager and is probably best known for performing one of the theme songs for the movie Suicide Squad. Prior to dating Irving, Kaylani had been in a relationship with a Canadian musician called Party Next Door. A few months after Irving and Kaylani got together, Party Next Door posted a photo on Instagram that caught people's attention. The picture showed him lying in bed, holding a woman's hand. The tattoos on the woman's hand clearly identified her as Kaylani. However, just in case the point was lost on anybody, Party Next Door made sure to confirm it was her in the caption saying, After all the shenanigans, still got the R&B singer back in my bed. Before the post was deleted, everyone saw it had the same interpretation. Kaylani must have been cheating on Kyrie. This sparked a flurry of abuse on social media towards Kaylani. The situation became very dark very quickly, and following literally hundreds of thousands of hate posts, Kaylani attempted suicide. Thankfully, she survived. 
However, she did end up in the hospital. Kyrie issued a statement following these events which explained he and Kehlani had already broken up prior to the post made by Party Next Door. Yet, even if the Twitter mob had been correct in their accusations, there's still no excuse for bullying someone as viciously as they did. Ben Simmons and Kendall Jenner Maybe it runs in the family. Khloe Kardashian has dated four different NBA stars. Before marrying Kanye West, Kim Kardashian was married to an NBA player named Chris Humphreys. Now, a third Kardashian has gotten involved with an NBA player. In 2018, Kendall Jenner began dating Ben Simmons. Just like anything else involving the Kardashians, the relationship between Jenner and Simmons has been heavily scrutinized. Many have been quick to notice that the relationship is kind of odd. In the beginning, it wasn't clear to anybody whether they were even together or not. Both were seen with other people at the time. Ben Simmons had been hanging out with the singer Tinashe, while Jenner was spotted making out with model Anwar Hadid. Then, Jenner started showing up at 76ers games. The pair also reportedly spent New Year's together. Things seemed to be getting more serious, but then, they apparently took a break in mid-2019 for unknown reasons. To this day, nobody really knows for sure if they're together or not. Most people close to the story describe it as an on and off relationship, which doesn't clarify much. It could be that it's simply too difficult to maintain a serious relationship with all the travel and separation involved between an NBA star and a global socialite. Though, as we've seen, other couples have somehow managed it. Clay Thompson Clay Thompson is one of the more soft-spoken personalities in the NBA, but that shyness doesn't appear to carry over to his relationships with women. Clay has dated or had affairs with numerous women during his NBA career. The first to gain widespread media attention was in 2016. Clay started dating a cheerleader for the LA Rams named Cherie Sandra. However, a year prior to that, Clay had already been sleeping with a model named Hannah Stocking. Stocking dumped Clay after she reportedly caught him in bed with another woman. Stocking didn't name the woman publicly, but described her as a groupie. Following the breakup with Stocking, Clay began dating a former college basketball player named Tiffany Suarez. Following this, he also dated the model Abigail Rashford and was rumored to be dating an actress named Isa Gonzalez in 2018. Then, after all these dates, Clay finally seemed to settle down with the actress Laura Harrier in 2018. However, in 2020, Clay was seen on a bizarre TikTok post where a woman claimed he had been at a pool party with her. This was made worse by the fact that it happened during a global pandemic. Harrier and Thompson reportedly broke up following this incident. However, sources say they're back together again as of 2021. The couple has kept things notoriously private. This makes it harder to know what went down or where things currently stand. All we know for sure is that Clay has definitely used the attractiveness of being an NBA star to his full potential.